Hello and welcome back to Broadside Gaming with me Zug and today we'll be taking a look at some more Dark Tide and more specifically the Heavy Stubbers. So I've been using these quite a lot recently and I've actually really fallen in love with all of them but especially the Achilles and the Gorgonum. So the Achilles is the light version and the Gorgonum is the heavy version. As you can see there's quite a big damage difference between them and also a large ammo reserve difference but these things are absolutely fucking awesome um, they have fixed the Achilles so that when you switch between weapons it doesn't just jam up anymore and you can't shoot so it's always a bonus but the major plus side to these uh, heavy stubbards it's just the ridiculous amount of fire you can throw down range and just the horde clear but not only the horde clear these things are effective on everything apart from crushes even the light achilles version as you can see you got yourself a reaper and this is on damnation in the meat grinder shreds through them really quickly and the stagger, even on the lighter version, is pretty insane. I'll just show you the comparison with the heavier version. So keep in mind the heavier version does have a very small ammo reserve compared to the light one. And a reduced rate of fire, but it does hit like a truck. So I've been using these things uh, recently, doing all the uh, new penance stuff playing mostly on Damnation and on Heresy. They just work in most situations. And I have found the... People might not agree with me on this, but for Perks and Blessings, you want Flak and Manix. Flak and Manic, and you'll be shredding almost everything. Obviously, apart from Crushes, Crushes are a different beast on its own and for your blessings I swear by charmed reload and to a lesser degree blaze away blaze away does take a long time to tick up so you're not always going to be able to take full advantage of it especially if you're doing short bursts it's not great but I suppose you could change blaze away for death spitter but death spitter only really works if you're fighting short range Let's see if I can get There we go, it's taken... So almost the entire clip, and we only got up to three stacks of Blaze Away. So not amazing. But with the pure damage output of this weapon, you're not crippled by it. And with Charmed Reload, it is increasing your clip size continuously every time you crit it doesn't seem to work exactly as it says because i've seen some crits that have not loaded 10 bullets so if this thing was working as it should it should be every crit instantly 10 bullets but it, there seems to be a cool like a internal cooldown between it so it you will notice that some crits aren't loading bullets but it seems to be every other one does I was just saying, with the crushes, this isn't going to be that effective. As you can see, it just kind of plinks off. You can stagger them in a pinch, but I mean, I wouldn't try too hard to kill a crusher. That's usually what the trusty shell was for. And uh, I'm not going to go into massive detail about it because I'm making a video of this on its own, but I do like to pair up uh, the heavy stubber with the shovel because you don't really need an intense horde clearing melee weapon with the heavy stubber and you'll mostly be using your melee weapon to deal with like heavily armored foes so your crushes and possibly maulers but even then the heavy stubber does tear maulers to pieces The, the damage on that, it, like this is the heavy one, obviously, but I'll show you the 
lighter version, which I'm getting really fond of. So even the light version. Absolutely choose maulers. The best thing is, with your flak and manic uh, perks on it, your rages aren't a problem. You can gun down entire hordes of these things with ease, to be honest. And the more you play of it, the more you'll be able to be pushing the limits and knowing the um, the fire patterns, and you'll just be able to squeeze up a couple of rounds and just kill single target quite happily. So yeah, I I mean, they've this is night and day compared to how the heavy stuff was when it first came out, and I'll be honest, it was a piece of shit. But now this is one of my favourite go-to weapons for the Ogren. It's just incredibly satisfying to use. And like I said, I've been using this in uh, Heresy and Damnation with little to no problem. I mean, the only time you're going to come across a problem is during a reload. Because the reloads are still ridiculously long on these guns. But it's not worth the 10% reload perk. Because you really, really, really want Black and Manic to hit those breakpoints to be able to take out the Berserkers, the Specials, and the, the mixed hordes. So unarmored is just going to get shredded no matter what, so I wouldn't waste the perk to get unarmored. It's dealing with the mixed hordes on Heresy and Damnation, and even Malice to some point, is you want the Flak and Manic in there to just be able to shred through and not have to worry too much. The only thing, like I said, is that's going to cause you problems, crushes. And you may have noticed I hadn't mentioned Bulwarks. And the thing of this is, all you need to do is wait for the opportunity of the shield to open up. Because once the shield opens, you can absolutely shred them. So yeah, if you're, in, if you're facing two of them, You'll have to switch to your melee weapon, obviously, because you're just going to get battered. But if there's just one, or they're decently spaced apart, just wait for the opportunity. Somebody will stagger them. So once the they have been staggered and the shield is open, or you get a nice shot from behind, lol, you can shred the absolute shit out of bulwarks as well. The only thing that's going to cause you problems with this gun are the crushers. And then just switch over to your melee weapon and give them a slap. And also, I just find that animation stupidly hilarious. But yeah. Highly, highly rate these heavy stubbers, guys. If you haven't used them, why not? Use them. They're great. So I hope this video has been helpful, folks. It's mostly just been me rambling about them. I'm just going to leave the ending scene on that so you can take another look at it. But yeah, thank you very much for watching. If this has helped, please like, subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. We do Dark Tide content every single week. And there'll be a new video out most days. And uh, thank you very much for watching. And I shall catch you all for the next one. And in the meantime, take it easy. And I'll see you later.